surface world gets louder and louder each day. Hey there. Stay safe up there. Get away from me. I don't think you need me to tell you the verdict here. <gasps> Doctor. She's suffering from schizophrenic episodes. It's not due to any sort of chemical imbalance. This is clearly a result of the brain damage. What can we do for her? Nothing as of yet. I'll have to think of something. But for now... Don't let her speak to anyone. You, oh, you're back. Did you find the Empress? So it's dead. You killed it. I never would have guessed. This is amazing. This means... This means the disappearances will stop. We can lift the lockdown, the curfew. We can live normal lives again. Well, most of us. Oh, Bob. It's fine. This means we should stay. Right. Maybe for a little while longer, we can stay. Yes. A Wong. Condition. If we're gonna stay here, we need more numbers, better security. We need rather here. Now that we've stopped the disappearances, they might want to join us. Take the claw. Prove to them that it's safe to live in Thameshaven. If you can do that, I'll agree to stay. I know we've already asked so much of you, but. We really need this. Thank you. You smell that? It's the Thames calling to us. How's it going? Why would I knowingly bring my people to a town where people go missing in the night? What is this? Is this a giant Mindler claw? This was killing them. Really? You know what, never mind. If the issue is solved, it's solved. Well, this thing dead, and Thames Haven's at its security, mm. and the food surplus. Mm. Mm. We wouldn't go hungry, or <laughs> without a home on stilts. Uh, you got me. I'll grab some people, and we'll head over to Thames Haven and plop our asses down there for a while. Who knows? We might even like it. Of course, there will be a few stragglers left behind. Those that like the fresh air, the traders, and the buggers who just don't want to move, God bless them. 
But yeah, you can tell Rachel will be on over. Oh, your kind does have two eyes, right? <gasps> Watch where you're going. No, oh, sorry about that, human. My hounds learned to swim today. So proud of them. They call us sea devils, warriors of the deep, monsters. Can't they just leave us alone? You're back. Mm. Oh, what did they say? Before I got you. Oh, that's that's amazing. Oh my god. You have no idea how good that is to hear. This is the first night I'll sleep in weeks. Oh, this is great. I need to tell Bob right away. Here. Whilst you've been away, we had a whip around for some tickets and other valuables. All yours, from the people of Thameshaven. Also, we are going to break our rule for you. We've got a spare room in the market and we'd like you to stay there whenever you want. Again, thank you. What can I do for you today? <sighs> well, ain't you a barrel of sunshine? <sighs> what can I do for you today? <sighs> Don't know about Thameshaven, but if you have a minute, I could use a hand. Angela's still spouting nonsense, and it's getting worse. Well, not worse, but not better. There has to be something someone can do. And that someone's Dr. Allen. He knows something, but he doesn't want me risking my life for it. And I'll know I'm not as spry as I used to be. I've not lost the plot entirely. If it's something you can get safely, then I'd be in your debt. Maybe I've just got my hopes up and nothing exists, but I really hope not. Just look at the state I'm in. I'm rambling. Just talk to Dr. Webb. Look at this stuff. Hello, human. How are you today? Ah, it's you again. How's it going? Business? Not pleasure today? Huh? All right. I know what he wants, and I'm not sending him to his death. We done here? Good. Now, goodbye.
And I'm supposing that someone's you. Do you have any idea how dangerous it is? Uh, whatever. It's Bob's hide I worried about. I know you can handle yourself. It's Bedlam. Uh, Bethlehem. Bethlehem Royal Hospital. Pre-war Croydon loved their loonies. So they stocked their hospital with all manner of mind meds. white coated bastards. Mixed and matched them to see what had happened. Sometimes they even worked. That's what I'm banking on. Anyone can go to Croydon. Doesn't mean they'll survive, Bethlehem. Crazies and commuters love Bethlehem like birds love the sky. Plenty of quiet rooms for them to ambush junkies. Dark corners for them to hide away in. Even some tight corners perfect for a nasty surprise. I'm sure those meds are there. And I'm sure a horde of crazy pre-war ghouls are there, too. And if that don't deter you, go ahead. But breathe a word to Bob, and by my oath, I'll give you a lobotomy so you can't hurt anyone. Nothing like a swim in our attempts to make you feel alive. I was wondering when you'd get around to opening your own door. There's always more work. <laughs> now I'm here about the Thames folk disappearances. Not the ones we already stopped. You did good work on that. <clears throat> I'm here about a new one. Or maybe an old one that we're just now noticing. See. Another group of Thames folk have gone missing. Only we don't have a midden or queen to blame this time. Wish I knew. Look, all I know is I went to find them and only found blood. A lot of it. So, how about you find out whose it is and where they've gone? Likely some of it is, but I can tell a Tim's folk blood from the rest. No, more than one creature caught a bullet during that scrape. More than enough to kill a normal man. But I'm guessing at least two Tim's folk were there. Maybe they're alive. Probably not. But we need to know for sure. I'm sure there's plenty. But I'm just as much in the dark as you are. Folk are dying. And the only threat we knew about is dead by your hand. Give me that gadget of yours. I'll mark where I found their blood. The surface world.
Can I help you? It done. Figured it were just fish goes from the chum. Folks are always missing. Lurks I'm worse round these parts. You'd have me believe that this blood trail's all the way out there. Well, it does look like it stretches on for a bit. Fine. I can't leave me post, but I'm sure the boss here will want to know about it. Ah, probably some wild animal running loose. Go on in. Greeting, civilian. You need anything? I bet check that out. I guess it was nothing. I just clean up around here. This place ain't what it used to be. And it ain't used to be much. Farewell. Got business here? I don't know nothing about nothing. Don't ask questions around here. Better for everyone that way. Keep your nose out of my business. What? We mates now? Gonna shoot the breeze? Take a walk. See you later. Huh? Yes? Yeah.
Evening. Hi. How are you? I think you want to turn around now. Oh, son of a bitch. It's not even my squad. You're the one making so much noise. The dirty bastards. Oh, I was one of the boss's snatchers. One of the best. How many of those swamp breathers did I bring him? And he didn't send down so much as a plaster. Do me a favor. Damn all of the management all to hell for me. <laughs> that terminal behind me's got all the information you need. To take that slime ball down.
going up. Yeah? Yes? God save the Queen. How are you? We will go quietly. You can count on that. You down to trade? Take a look. How are you? Yes? Yeah? Poking around, I see. What do you want? It is starting to get a little dicey. Thameshaven's starting to catch on. I see them eyeing up the factory. Fine. For the sake of continuing to sit pretty in this chair, I'll stop production. I'll need to get those R&D folks on a new ingredient pronto.
Yes? What are you doing around these parts? Anything you need? Can I help you? Where did you come from? Sure. Sure. I'm here to serve. S Stay safe, civilian. These are dark times. You should consider enlisting. We need people like you. You need anything? of a commotion up there. Thank you for sparing me the details. I've had enough death as of late. I think we best keep this to ourselves. Horus and his lot are still uneasy about being here. Don't want to spook them into leaving just yet. Anyway, about time. Isn't it, Nate? Tranquil in the face of danger. Well, well, well. Look who's come to visit old Gordon. What brings you here, my friend? Well, my friend, I'm a mutant. A tree man. A mutant with the ability to move and communicate like a human. It's not exactly a common sight, but... I like to think I make the wasteland a little more interesting. May I inquire as to what has brought you to our humble settlement? Now that's very kind of you. But we're doing all right for the most part. We have enough food and water to get by, and we've even managed to build some defenses to keep the hooligans and mutants at bay. Of course, there's always room for improvement. But we're managing. Actually, now that you mention it, there is one thing you could help us with. We've been having some trouble with a group of dryads that have been harassing our followers on the road. If you could take care of them, we'd be very grateful. I have no idea why they've been getting so aggressive. They usually leave us be. They tend to hang around the other end of the airport. 
It's a dangerous place to be, but that's where they've been spotted the most. They're a threat to the people living nearby. They attack anyone who comes near the airport, and they're getting bolder. We need to take them out before someone gets hurt. That's very kind of you. I appreciate your willingness to help, whether you agree with the mission or not. If you take care of these dryads, you'll make the area safer for everyone. Thank you for agreeing to help, my young friend. It's not every day that a stranger wishes to offer their assistance. May nature bless you.
Welcome back, my friend. I wasn't expecting you so soon. Have you come back to bask in the glory of our humble settlement? I'm so glad that you've been able to help. Those dryads were causing a lot of trouble for travelers trying to get to the airport. Happy to see things are a bit safer now. Thank you, though. It's good news either way. We can't have them preying on our people like that. I must say, I am sad to see those dryads go. I always considered them like my kin. Aggressive kin, but... kin. But I knew they had to be dealt with one day. But that's what troubles me. The aggression. They were never normally that bad. Something has changed. You see, there is a laboratory below our settlement, where I was mutated into this form. I fear that something has happened down there, something that has caused the Dryads to act out of character. May I ask for your help again, my friend? I need you to go down there and investigate. I apologize for the lengthy story I'm about to give, my friend. But I believe it's important to understand the history of our settlement and the events that have led up to the current situation. I was there when the issue started. My partner and I. We both worked for the Ministry of Information. We had agreed to work on a project designed to help the war effort. We had spent long hours in the lab with the sole goal of trying to reverse engineer a Garden of Eden creation kit that the government had found, confiscated from the Americans. We worked together in the lab for years, experimenting with the Garden of Eden creation kit. We were so close. Not just as colleagues, but as partners, in every sense of the word. But then, the unthinkable happened. The project went terribly wrong, and the kit exploded. I was turned into a tree, and my love, uh, he didn't make it. I miss him so much. Every day, I feel like a part of me is missing. But I know he would want me to carry on, to keep living and to keep fighting for what we believed in. That's why I need your help to uncover the truth about what really happened in that lab. While I don't think that my partner's death and the explosion are what is causing the Dryads to turn more hostile, something has clearly changed in their environment. And since I believe the lab is the cause of it, it's the most logical place to start. I'll do whatever it takes to find out, to get to the bottom of this, and find out what really happened. I need you to go to the lab, and see if you can find any clues as to what's causing the Dryads to get so aggressive. I fear the worst. Great news. Thank you for your assistance, young one.
Commencing scan. Do unlocking. Scanning complete.
Hello there, traveler. I sense that you have come seeking answers. Gordon's alive! I have spent many years in this state, unable to move or communicate with anyone until you found me. It has been a lonely existence. But I have always held on to the hope that one day Gordon would come and find me. Are you saying that is actually possible? Love is a powerful force that connects us to one another. It is what gives our lives meaning and purpose. Without love, we would be lost, wandering aimlessly through this world. Love brings us joy, happiness, and fulfillment. It is the foundation of all human relationships. And it is what makes life worth living. But if Gordon seeks out the answers to such a simple question, I can aid you. A signal alarm came through the Pinda from another when a self-destruction alert was triggered. It caused the local security system here to go on high alert and interrupted the synapse between the Dryads and myself. As you can see, I've become a synapse tree to the geck growing out of me. Much like how I am now one with the geck, it seems I've also become one with the triads. The fix to their agitation is so easy. A simple flipped switch will cease the alarm. Then we can all return to the peace from which we came. Good. I can see why Gordon invested so much trust in you. It will be a long time before I can properly reconnect my synapse and aid in the restoration of peace with the Dryads. However, we are on the right path, and with patience and determination, we will achieve it. I know that Gordon is out there somewhere, and I am grateful that you have found him. Please, tell him that I love him, and that I will always be with him even in this 
form. If Gordon is alive, I can only assume that he shares my fate. I understand now why he never came to look for me. I can control the power of the Gek. Now I know he exists. I can delay its power so he may visit. Please tell him this. Until we meet again, be safe and journey on. Remember, Traveler, that everything in this world is connected. We are all part of a greater whole, and our actions have consequences that ripple through the universe. Choose your path carefully and always strive to do what is right.
managed to open that door. I've been trying for years. Uh, did you discover the cause of the Dryad's aggression? Synapse tree? What are you talking about? Wait, what aren't you telling me? A tree? What do you mean? Is he a dryad? Or is he like me, a tree man? Oh, I didn't even know any of this was possible. Where is he? Can you take me to him? Thank you for telling me. I never thought I'd see him again, let alone in that form. I have to see him, no matter the risk. I'm in shock, friend. I've been searching for him for so long. I don't care what he's become. He's still my partner. But a tree, that's unexpected. I never thought it was possible for anyone else to be like me. But to be static and unable to move... Uh, still, he's alive, and that's all that matters. Thank you for finding him. You have done me a great service. I must see him, even if it means risking my own mutation. I'll figure out a way to get in the lab. Come back in a few days. I need to prepare to see him. I will have something for you as well. <laughs>